William of Ockham is a 14th century English and medieval philosopher and theologian. He is seen as one of the most prominent figures in the history of philosophy during the Middle Ages. He is known for his views on metaphysical nominalism and his most prominent metaphysical principle known as Occam's Razor, which has been a widely used principle in physics, science, and even economics. Occam lived a rather unusual life and spent most of his life in three various parts of the world. Early stages of his life began in England between 1287 to 1324, Avignon in France between 1324 to 1328, and Munich in Germany between 1328 to 1347. These places largely shaped his views and ideas of ancient philosophy and form part of the reason why we are here today speaking on the history of economic thought. Occam was raised in a small village in Surrey, southwest London, in which he learned how to speak basic Latin. At the age of 23, he began his theological training at Oxford for a year and lived in London's Greyfriars, in which was seen to be an intellectually lively place, in which he spent most of his time writing his philosophical and theological works. Occam was seen as a rather controversial writer, and his views were regarded with suspicion. He was sent to court, charged with heresy, in which led to his journey to Avignon in France, in which he had to answer to those charges. In Avignon, France, Occam stayed in a convent in which he was supposedly under house arrest, while investigations on his writings were ongoing. While in Avignon, Occam continued to write, and then the conclusion of his case highlighted that Occam was not in fact heretical at all. Things therefore became very intolerable for Occam in Avignon, France, in which he then fled Avignon and went into exile in Germany. While in exile in Germany, Occam spent most of his time writing on political matters. He spent his last days in Germany. William of Ockham subscribes to the Theological Volunteerist School of Thought, or also known as the Divine Command Theory, which is known as the claim that morality is ultimately based on the commands or character of God, and that the moral morally right action is the one that God commands or requires. The theological volunteerist point of view asserts William of Ockham's ideas as a philosopher and therefore sets the basis for the other theories that he subscribes to or even proposes. The second school of thought is known as the philosophical system of William of Ockham, which is termed Occamism. Essentially, Occamism is a normalistic idea and it maintains the basic foundation that universal ideas have no foundation in reality. They exist only in the thinking mind and not in individual things. Consequently, highlighting that science deals not with things, but it deals with concepts and words that therefore convey these concepts. So since only individual things exist, the ordinary means of acquiring knowledge is not really by way of abstraction from reality, but rather through intuition. William of Ockham is famously known for his problem-solving principle called Ockham's Razor. The problem-solving principle highlights that entities should not be multiplied without necessity. There are explanations for two different occurrences. The one that requires the smallest number of assumptions is usually correct. In conclusion, it is important to note that William of Ockham's contribution to history of economic thought is largely rooted in his nominalist perspective. And in addition, Ockham's razor, which can be linked to economic thought by virtue of the fact that it is coined 
the term the law of economy.